from the school's perspective, um, they need to meet parents in the same way that parents need to meet them, that it's, it's really a collaboration. So, so schools need to respect and understand what the family has been through and um, perhaps develop a little empathy and understand that this is not, this is a unique situation. This family was watching their child develop typically and now this um, event has happened that's thrown the family into a tailspin and the child is a different person. And they've got, the family needs to figure out how to help that child at school. That's, a, I mean, it's, that's tough. And so just understanding that and having just a respect for that. And then secondly, um, I would say being a good listener on the school's part. So saying, you know, back to school night, saying to mom, tell me about your child. And sitting back and listening. Um, I think a lot of times schools are under so much pressure to get things done and teachers get through the curriculum and manage this and make that happen. It's very rare that they have an opportunity to sit and listen. And I think if that could happen more and just some of that, some of those, again, some of those problem solving and collaboration skills could be more in place, people get, would get a lot more creative about serving these kids and we, we'd have a lot fewer problems and conflicts between families and schools.